show. It turns out that being forced to watch your Jabba the Hutt boss jack off into a padded ficus isn't the only way to make a workplace hostile to women. There's also pregnancy discrimination, or as I like to call it, getting mother fucked. There were 3,100 cases of pregnancy discrimination filed with the EEOC last year. The major grocery store chain discriminating against pregnant women. Brandy Cochran saying, come on down to court claiming her pregnancy, the first one, ended in a miscarriage due to stress from ruthless tormenting by the show's producers. One staffer quoted as saying, quote, wide low coming through. Megan, you enjoyed reading that copy way too much. I guess when you work at Fox News, regular workplace discrimination probably sounds pretty quaint. Between 2011 and 2015, women filed nearly 31,000 pregnancy discrimination cases, which is shocking considering that, like Danny Bonaducci, bell bottoms, and full bushes, it's been illegal since the 70s. <laughs> there are multiple laws on the books protecting pregnant people in the workplace, which makes sense considering that America is a country that values pregnancy so much, Mike Pence is considered making it a crime not to be with child. According to the Pregnancy Discrimination Act, a woman cannot be fired, denied a promotion or job, demoted, or forced to stop working because she is or may become pregnant. But employers aren't letting a few little laws stop them from punishing pregnant ladies. In a historic case, the Supreme Court heard today a 2006 case involving former UPS driver Peggy Young, who claims she was discriminated against after becoming pregnant and was unable to because of doctor's orders to lift more than 20 pounds. The company denied her request to go on light duty, which left her at home with no wage and no health benefits. I guess UPS stands for you pregnant sucks. <laughs> and it was clear the company had a double standard. As the discussions evolved, we saw facts where Male employees were allowed to basically have an open door policy where people had out of office incidents that involved DUIs, uh, wow. sprained ankles while playing softball. Uh, they could go in, but they slammed the door on her because of her pregnancy. Totally unfair, especially since lots of pregnancies are also sort of DUIs. That is to say, horrible mistakes that happen while drunk. Not mine, though. Mine were blessed miracles that happened while drunk. <laughs> The good news is the Supreme Court ruled with Peggy Young on that case. The bad news is good laws and rulings haven't stopped the motherfucking. There isn't a single industry where women aren't punished for procreating. In one high-profile case still pending in Illinois, the law is even letting down the law. Officer Jennifer Panettoni is taking the village of Frankfurt to court. On the force for 14 years, she says she couldn't believe what she was told when she became pregnant. I identified a bunch of different jobs that I could do, uh, such as, you know, uh, follow-up witness interviews or working with crime prevention. Everything that we had brought up had just been denied. I wasn't allowed to have uh, a bulletproof vest that fit. And I could feel sitting in my squad car with my vest popped open and my bulletproof vest, you know, is squeezing me. And you know that larger vests are available because so many male cops are pregnant with donuts. Don't <laughs> at me. Turns out Walmart is also a terrible place to be pregnant. You lied to us, Natalie Portman, and not just by pretending you've ever been to Walmart. <laughs> the big box chain is currently facing a class action lawsuit led by former employees. I began to get really sick because of the chemicals that I was using to clean the restroom to the point where I was hospitalized several times. I was scared for my unborn child's life. Her doctors told her to stay away from the cleaning products she worked with. She was allowed to work as a door greeter, but says she wasn't allowed a stool to sit on during her eight-hour shift. Since when do you have to stand to greet someone anyway? I do some of my best greeting fully prone on the couch. <laughs> Another employee claims she was fired after being forced to lift heavy objects against doctor's orders. She alleges her supervisor told her she'd seen a pregnant Demi Moore do a somersault on television, so pregnancy was no excuse. <laughs> First of all, since when does Demi Moore set the standard for what normal human people can do? Demi Moore has made pottery with ghosts. Also, about that pregnant somersault. You so, can't do gymnastics when you're nine no, months no, pregnant. Just, would you like to see some? Yes, I would. You need any talc or anything? No, no, I'm all set. Okay, Demi Moore, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, here we go. Jeez, what is... A woman lost her job because her boss thought that Letterman bit from 20 years ago was real, which is the risk you run when people get their information from late night comedy shows. <laughs> 
Pregnancy discrimination doesn't just hurt women while they're pregnant. Much like our pelvic floors, our careers might never recover. Pregnancy is a key trigger for lifelong inequality for women. The wage gap increases disproportionately and really has a lifelong impact. Of course, because you're being discriminated against for two. It's true even in this industry. I can't help but think that if I hadn't been pregnant when I was at Comedy Central, I'd be both stars of Broad City by now. <laughs> Pregnancy discrimination also exacerbates the gender pay gap. White women are paid 82 cents for every dollar a man in the same position is, but then, on average, for each child she has, a woman has a wage drop of 4%. So, I guess that's two ways having a baby tears us a new asshole. And by the way, men's wages actually increase by 6% when they have children, and oh God, they deserve it. Do you have any idea how hard it is to stand near someone who's going through labor? The screams are uncomfortable. And of course, this disparity disproportionately hurts women of color. Although at this point, the slogan of America should just be America. It disproportionately hurts women of color. <laughs> and by the way, all these cases we're talking about, those are just the ones that make it to court. Countless more women have found their careers mysteriously losing momentum when they become mothers. It's that meeting you're not invited to where your bosses decide for you that you won't be traveling as much for work or getting taken off a couple of projects because someone just assumes that you won't want to work late nights anymore. The mommy track is paved with good intentions, but you know what would be really good? Fucking asking women what they want and then doing that thing. Pregnancy is a beautiful miracle, and when a woman is experiencing the miraculous marvel of miracles that is persistent nausea, sandpaper nipples, rashes, Shrek feet, mom brain, melting joints, lightning crotch, skin spottiness, constipation, hemorrhoids, heartburn, hair growing everywhere, but especially out of your moles, skin tags, and growing a whole future taxpayer in her uterus with nothing but a pile of mucus keeping it up in there, just let her do her goddamn job. We'll be right back.